Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the next question. So this question belongs to GATE CSE 2008. Okay, so the question is Dijkastra single source shortest path algorithm when running for vertices, vertex A. So here we are running at vertex A in the, in the above graph or below graph computes the correct shortest path distances to. So most of you might be getting doubt that so why exactly they are asking correct path because here there are three weights which are negative guys so whenever you are trying to solve okay so there are only two negative weights okay so whenever you are trying to solve a graph with the negative weights it is not a good idea to use Dijkastra guys got it yes so that is the reason why they are saying for how many nodes it is going to give the correct answer okay so the only method to identify it is to we need to solve it using Dijkastra okay yes so I hope everyone remembers right so how exactly Dijkastra will work so let us again recall it a b c d e f g h i is not there right so e f g that's it h until h is also not there h is there yeah just done okay so now let us write the cost as a distances and the parent name as p so I'll initially all the values will be infinity right yes Okay, and here you will be having minus, so nothing, nil in simple words. Okay, yes. So let me draw draw the table neatly so that we can fill it and we can identify whether it's giving correct answers or wrong. Okay, yes. So let us start. So the, he clearly gave that the starting point is a. So the distance at a will be zero, and there will be no parent. So we can finalize a, and from a wherever you can go, we can go to b directly. So the distance will be one, and you will be going with the help of a. So at a the distance is zero. To b the distance is one. Okay, so now B is also finalized. So the order, if you want, A, B. So order is not required, right? Okay, so I can avoid this writing. Okay, yes. So from B, where, where I can go, I can go to E with a cost of a minus 3. So 1 minus 3 is a minus 2, right? Yes. Similarly, I can go to C. 1 plus 2 is a 3. So 3. So for both of them, I can go with the help of B. That's really nice. Okay, so now what is the minimum value? E is the minimum value. So I, now I am going to E. So the cost is a minus 2. So from E where I can go, I can go to F. So minus 2 plus 2, the value is a 0. So at a cost of 0, I can go up to F guys. Okay, so with the help of E. Got it? Yes. So now we are done with E and the only path from E is F. Okay, yes. So then now the minimum value is F. So F is also done now. So at F the cost is 0. So from F to G, you can go at a cost of 3. That's really nice. And the parent of this is F. Okay, so now from G, where, where you can go? Okay, yes. So here there is a point. So now G and C are having exactly same values, right? Okay. So now it's just based on your interest. You can take anyone. But for easy understanding, I am taking C because we visited C before G, right? Yes. So I'll be taking C. Okay. So from a C, with the cost of minus 5, I can go to H. So with the cost of minus 5. So at C, what is the cost? It is 3. So 3 minus 5 is a minus 2, right? Yes. So with the minus 2, I can go to H with the cost with by a C, right? Yes. So this is done. So from C, I can go to D also. That cost will be 6 and with the help of C. Okay. Yes. So now we have filled the whole table. And what is the minimum value now? So the minimum value is minus 2. So from H, where I can go? I can go to nowhere. I can go to E, but it's already finalized. Right? Yes. Okay. Yes. So if you even compare anywhere, there is no other path. So it is done. So H is done. So now the minimum value is G. From G where I can go, I can go to H, but H is already finalized. So there is no change and at the end D is done. So if you observe carefully, so anywhere we did not find any other minimum value, right? Yes. So and at the end, we found the shortest distances for each and every vertex, right? So to A to A, the cost is 0. A to B, there is this path 1. So A to C, so A to C you can go in this way, right? Yes. So the cost is 3. A to D. So you need to go till here. So you cannot go in this way. So we can rotate in this way and we can go. Yes. That's the shortest path. Yes. Similarly, A to E. So A to E, this is the path. Okay. A to F, this is the path. A to G. So this whole is the path. A to H. So this is the path. So in this way, we have travels, traveled the whole parts, right? Yes. There is no issue and we never faced an issue like we visited it with more cost. So we never faced those kind of issues. So hence you can clearly say that D is the correct answer. We have visited each and every vertex with its minimum cost. Got it? Yes. So now I hope everyone got a clear idea, right? So with respect to this question, we have solved it step by step. Okay. Yes. So I hope everyone got a clear idea. So in the next lecture, let us continue with the next question. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Like, share and subscribe for more awesome videos like this. Thank you.